how to get real estate clients in your first year. If you just got licensed, you're thinking about getting in the real estate industry, this is probably a question you have for yourself. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three actionable, pretty much free ways to generate clients in your first year. But first, this is the After the License channel. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment below if you want access to my free course on building your database and your sphere of influence, which is a lead gen source we're not gonna talk about in this video, but something I highly recommend. Just drop a comment below and I'll send you the link. What are three ways you can generate leads that are pretty low cost and something you can do in your first year. The first one I wanna to touch on is open houses. As you know, if you've listened to my podcast, you watch this channel, I've interviewed a ton of agents and a lot of them had success in their first year doing open houses. Open houses is something that you can do even if you don't have listings. So go to your brokerage, go to your office and find people or find agents in your office that have listings that want them to be held open. And what you do is you pick a day and you pick a time and you go and you either buy some signs or you borrow them and you go and promote this open house. Now, a lot of people you're going to meet at the open house are neighbors or looky-loos, but occasionally you will find a good buyer. Now, what I love about open houses is this will force you to start to have real estate conversations early and often in your career. And this just builds confidence in yourself. Not only can you potentially generate buyers, but you're actually going to condition yourself to have real estate conversations in the future. People are going to ask you about the market. People are going to ask you about the neighborhood. People are going to ask you about the house. And you're going to learn what questions to ask of the listing agent, but you're also gonna learn how to respond to those things. So open houses is a fantastic way to generate leads. You don't just have to do them on the weekends. Some of the agents that I know actually did them when school was getting out, Monday through Friday. They maybe did them Sunday morning or Saturday afternoon, right? But you can do them at different times of the week, not even the traditional times, and still have success with it. The second thing that I would recommend that you do as a brand new agent is figure out how to do some type of online lead gen. I love Facebook leads and I love paid Facebook leads because it's something I can reproduce. It's something that I can tweak and it's something I can generate a lot of leads and I can pump them into my CRM and have success in the long run following up and converting those. But if you're brand new in the business, you maybe don't have a huge marketing or lead gen budget to actually invest into ads. So what can you do? You can use Facebook marketplace. I love this strategy. Again, you're going to go to an agent in your office, an agent in your area, and you're going to say, do you have a listing that I can promote? Do you have a listing that I can hopefully find a buyer for you for? And if they say yes, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Facebook marketplace. You're going to take those photos and you're going to upload them. And you're going to say, this house is for sale. Contact me if you want details. And you're gonna give them a few snippets of the house, maybe the general city. You're gonna tell them some perks of it, maybe the size, maybe the bedrooms, maybe the beautiful backyard, but you're going to leave out the price because you want people to reach out to you to figure out how much the house is worth. I've seen success leaving out the price and I've also seen success with actually putting a price range in there. 300 to 400,000 condo in Scottsdale. And what you'll get is you will get a bunch of people who are brown housing Facebook marketplace who are potentially interested in that listing. Now, are you going to get a lot of dud leads? Yes. Are you going to get a lot of rental leads? Yes. But more importantly, you're occasionally going to get a buyer. And again, the more people that you have to follow up with, the more real estate conversations you're going to have. And ultimately, the more you're going to build your confidence and the more success you're going to have. So that is the second essentially free way to generate leads as a brand new agent. Let's talk about the third. And this is my favorite. My favorite way to generate leads as a brand new agent is YouTube. You, as an agent, especially if you're young, especially if you're tech savvy, you should take this thing that you have, your phone, with essentially a nice camera if you have a phone in the last couple of years, and you should be shooting YouTube videos. Do it every single day. Tour the neighborhood, tour the city, tour homes in a certain price range, tour condos in a certain price range, show people around your neighborhood, be the mayor of your city. Talk about the best restaurants, talk about the best places to go, talk about your most favorite spots and do it via a YouTube 
video. When you do this and you put it on YouTube, YouTube is the only social media site that is also a search engine. So people will go to YouTube and they will type homes for sale in Phoenix, where to move in Phoenix, is Phoenix a good place to live? Guess what? Your video has the potential to show up. I do a whole video on how to get started on YouTube today. So I'll put a link up to that video right here. Make sure you go watch that because I break down the stats that you need to learn. I break down what you should be thinking about and how you actually get started on YouTube. But this is the best way because it's free, because you can use your phone to generate leads as a brand new agent for essentially no money. Okay, what questions do you have? What comments do you have? Drop them below. Let me know what I can help you with and I'll catch you on the next one.